So first we're going to head over to search and type in task manager, click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to head over to the details tab. And then you want to look for either Valorant or Riot Games. When you see it, you want to right click on it and then click on end process tree. So do that when you find Valorant or Riot Games. Once you do that, you want to head over to the processes tab and then you'll do the same thing. So if you see Valorant or Riot Games, you want to click on it and then click on end task. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in run, click on it. Once we're on this, we're going to type in services.msc and click on enter. Once we're on it, we're going to click on any service and then click on V on our keyboard. And you want to look for VGC. I'm not going to have it because I haven't got Valorant installed in this computer, but you're going to have it. Look for VGC. Once you find it, you want to right click on it and then click on properties. Once you're on it, make sure that the startup type is on automatic and then make sure that the service says start. So start the service. Once you do that, click on OK. Once you do both these steps, restart your computer. Make sure you click on restart. Don't shut down, click on restart, then the problem should be fixed.